Good day everyone, Grand Hall here again with another Rome 2 Domination Tournament game for you and uh, today we're watching uh, AVA Alex Panda versus uh, Bard Skinny Boy and uh, Alex Panda's got our faction which is the Glacian Raiders him and I are um, going pretty well from so far and the Skinny Boy he's got the Slukid so we'll go over Alex's build He's got the uh, Glacian Raiders, one, two, three, four of them. Then he's got the uh, Mercenary Cappadocian Cav, so he's got a couple of them. Then he's got his General's and Noble Horse. And then he's got uh, on his left flank the Celtic Tribesman, Levy Freeman. He's got uh, four Glacian Legionaries. Then he's got the um, two Galatian Swords, one with an upgrade there. He's got the uh, Mercenary Syrian Archers. Decided to take three of them. And then he's got another Celtic Tribesman here. And uh, for Skinny Boy, if we look over his army, he's got the Citizen Cav, Eastern Spearmen, Thorax Swords. So he's brought um, four of them. He's got the Medean Cav here, Persian Light Archers. He's got a couple of them, and then uh, at the front he's got the horse skirmishers for his general the shield bearers. Then he's got the mercenary Syrian armored elephant there, and then uh, yeah, he's got some more Medean cav out here, backed up by the eastern spearmen and the citizen cav there. So he's got the elephant, so Alex is going to have to watch out for the elephant, but he does have the um, Syrian archers, which are going to be great benefit to him here. So straight away Alex looks like he's um, pushing for this flank over here. Can you get the rise of the hill and um, try and give himself as much elevation there with his archers so he can uh, get the fire down off the hill there. Straight away the uh, Eastern Spearmen are coming out and Alex is doing a smart thing and he's not going to shoot them. He's going to direct his aim of his Syrian archers at the Thorax Swords. Even though they're in the woods it's a better target than the actual Eastern Spearmen so we can um, see he's already playing pretty smart in this game. Conserving the ammunition for the Elephant I'd say. And uh, for his gen skills he's got the um, Battle Riven and Second Wind, which is good for the Noble Horse. So the hill isn't being used to too much advantage. Alex has just got his um, Mercenary Cappadocian up here at the moment. It's mainly going to be about the woods in the middle there, so you can see him uh, now exchanging skirmish fire. Persian Light Archers and no match for the um, mercenary Syrian archers there at all so Alex has got that um, advantage there as well so this elephant want to stay out of the range of the Syrian archers but you can see the Persian light archers are absolutely getting thumped now they're about to lose and once he has the um, once Alex has his skirmish advantage that will be the, um, the telling tale there He'll be able to use them more aggressively towards the elephant. Now Slukid's trying to pressure with the horse skirmishes, but Alex's uh, Glacian Raiders are just as capable of putting the pressure back on, uh, backed up with the Celtic Tribesmen there. So looks like he's uh, going well, and you can see over here, Alex using these um, Glacian Raiders to the full extent and get some really good shots on the horse skirmishes of Slukids. Eastern Spearmen, what I'd do myself with these Glacian Raiders is charge straight into Eastern Spearmen, they'll be gone within about two seconds. They're uh, not much good at all, so. So Skinny Boy starts putting the pressure on now with the Slukids and coming in, Alex pulls back his Syrian Archers and holds him off with the Levy Threeman so he can get um, his archers out of there, but they look like they're taking a few casualties. He uh, didn't quite get that 
pull back in time. So now he should be charging the Cappadocians through, which he does. Exactly that. And he's going to pummel these um, Thorax Swordsmen who are going to take unnecessary damage right there. So the Glacian uh, Legionnaires are going to beat the Thorax Swordsmen, no worries. As you can see with the um, units left in, they're going to beat them quite handily there. So the whole skirmish is going down. Glacian Raiders still got a healthy amount in the unit. Alex has still got the uh, Mercenary Capitations on the hill, which he hasn't used yet. So you've got these Glacian Raiders... Uh, not doing too much damage, but holding the flanks there, at least. Celtic Tribesmen going down to the um, Thorax Swords. Glacian Swords over here. Mercenary Capitations getting ready for a charge. And here come the Elephants. So the Elephants have come in um, too close to the Archers. That's going to be the end of them. They've already started running amok. And uh, yeah, that, that wasn't timed very well by Skinny Boy. He should have... Uh, Timed it a little bit better and, and brought him in on the flanks maybe over here or the other side of the flanks. So it looks to me the skinny boy's um, losing most of his troops here and the elephants are just absolutely getting ganged up on by the, all the archers now so you'll find that uh, they won't play much of a role in this battle. Galatian Raiders Levy Freeman pulling back, going after the Citizen Cav. And um, he should put these Glacian Raiders, yep, which he does now. Great minds think alike. Alex Pander in our clan, he's one of the our good um, members. He can, uh, he can play pretty well, so. He knows exactly what to do. And you can see in this battle, he's uh, precisely doing the right thing everywhere on the battlefield. So the Cappadocians out on the flank are killing the citizen cav. And you've got the general here, the shield bearers. He's going to get ganged up on to now quite severely. Eastern spearmen going down to the Cappadocians and the horse skirmishes over here are going to come in and try and save them but a little bit too late there so Naval Horse General hasn't played too much a role in the battle, but he has 52 kills with one loss, so he's done his job well. The Shield Bearers General um, isn't going too good at the moment. He's got the battle rhythm and the Hoplite Wall, but now the Archers are just going to have free reign on him, and that's going to be the end of him. He's out here derping out. He's only got 29 men left, so he's spread out a bit. He's got some troops in here in this blob, and some over here. Watch the uh, shield bearer general here go down. <laughs> he got pummeled. And that was very good. It's a good screenshot there. <laughs> the legionaries pumped up doing nothing. <laughs> so, yes, very good victory to Alex, and uh, well played, skinny boy. Few mistakes there with the elephant. That's a uh, a big loss. That was the main thing in his army that was going to do damage to Alex. But this uh, Glacian build we have for the tournament is a very good build. Mine's similar, except I only have the uh, two archers and uh, Glacian raiders and uh, a couple more Glacian swords in my build. But Alex's version of this build works quite well, and his archers, as you can see, are uh, very effective. And same with his cav. And the Glacian Legionaries always go well. And uh, these Glacian Swords back up quite well. He's Levy Freeman done well. And for our Bard Skinny Boy, the uh, Thorax Swords done okay. A couple of them, not many kills at all, but this one done fairly good for a Thorax. And his Cab done okay. This one here only got two kills, so uh, not done too well, but the Citizen done well. This one got 115. So yes, very good game. Well played Alex and uh, bad luck skinny boy. So we end up taking another territory there in the uh, domination tournament. I'll put a link to the uh, tournament 
in the descriptions. Uh, make sure you have a look, and and uh, it's a very interesting tournament, and, it, and I think it'll uh, pave the way for more interesting tournaments in the future. Now, thank you very much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Then he's got the um, two. Galatian swords, one with an upgrade there. He's got the uh, mercenary Syrian archers. Decide to take three of them. And then he's got another Celtic tribesman here. And uh, for Skinny Boy. G'day everyone, Granitor here again with another Rome 2 domination tournament game for you and uh, today we're watching uh, AVA Alex Panda versus uh, Bard Skinny Boy and uh, Alex Panda's got our faction which is the Glacian Raiders him and I are um, going pretty well from so far and for Skinny Boy he's got the Slukid so we'll go over Alex's build he's got the uh, Glacian Raiders one two three four of them then he's got the uh, mercenary Cappadocian Cav. So he's got a couple of them. Then he's got his generals and noble horse. And then he's got uh, on his left flank the Celtic tribesman, Levy Freeman. He's got uh, four Glacian Legion. If we look over his army, he's got the Citizen Cav, Eastern Spearmen, Thorax Swords. So he's brought um, four of them. He's got the Medean Cav here. Persian Light Archers. He's got a couple of them. And then 